guys hello and welcome to our channel goel classes welcome back to the another episode of college review video so today i have with me mr aviraj who has graduated from srm university in electronics and communication engineering welcome avi and how are you hi isha thank you for having me here uh, i'm having a good day how about you uh, same here yeah and so i i graduated from uh, srm uh, university in uh, 2020 batch of 2020 and now the name has been changed for the so chennai campus for, to srm institute of science and technology but it's basically the same uh, same college nothing has changed and uh, during my undergrad i did a bunch of projects like i was a part of a team that worked on hyperloop projects by spacex and then uh, i was also a part of the team that makes solar electric hybrid race cars mm, for a short while i also worked for a iot prototyping but it, that was like a short thing and yeah that's about it okay. uh, currently i am in uh, denmark i'm studying uh, masters of science in autonomous systems from technical university of denmark mm, that's great uh, uh before moving into uh, knowing srm my first question to you is that why did you actually chose srm uh, okay so uh, here's the thing i mean i did my uh, undergrad uh, from ec department but when i was applying to srm uh, that was not the reason i actually wanted to study nanotechnology okay uh, and uh, or something something which was not conventional so when i was filling my form for srm uh, what i could see was that srm had the options like nanotechnology genetic engineering or aerospace engineering so I, these weren't conventional options and that really appealed to me so that's one of the reasons i wanted to go to srm so that, that's why that uh, with that mindset i went for the counseling and okay. during the counseling it was uh, it was made clear to me that it would be a better option that i should take ec okay so that's the reason behind taking ec also because yeah i mean the okay. reason is that basically uh, my counselors there they told me that if you pursue your undergrad in a field like nanotechnology you'll end you'll end up being forced to uh, pursue a masters and it won't be an option because uh, undergrad from uh, a field of nanotechnology is like not not good enough mostly to have a good job that's what they told me i i uh, now i realize that it's not really like that but uh, they told me that if i do ec i can pursue masters in nanotechnology as well without an issue so it would be a safer option to take ec okay okay so now uh, moving further i would like to ask uh, how is the faculty at srm uh well uh, the faculty at srm is i mean i wouldn't try to say anything negative at this point but i mean uh, most of you will end up studying uh, on your own and uh, i mean you can't really uh, depend on the faculty if you re uh, really want to get in the subjects i mean but i, I think that implies for most undergrad colleges uh, yeah. all across the country uh you definitely have some good professors uh, i i i definitely am in uh, st was in touch with some of them even after my uh, i mean there there are people who are really really interested in what they do uh but yeah that's that the number is not uh, a big number if you're talking about such professors okay and uh... can you please tell us uh, tell the viewers about the what is the seat matrix at uh, srm like how many student what is the intake uh, in a particular branch like if we talk about ec so how many students are there in one batch uh, okay the thing is uh, that keeps changing every year because uh, like when i joined uh, my, the when i was in first year i had a senior in fourth year and they used to tell me that the strength used to be way less and uh, when i joined they had amped up the numbers a lot and now by the time i graduated they they had again brought down the numbers so okay. i can only tell you about when i when i was uh, in the college 
because they keep changing it depending on the dean and the vice chancellor so at my point there were 6000 uh, btech students uh, in my campus there are okay. multiple srm campuses and in that i think there were around 1000 uh, students in ec okay that's huge so yeah. <laughs> okay It's a so big college. yeah so uh, i guess uh, having more number of students actually increases competition so it will mo- motivate you to study properly and that's no, not thing. really i mean if you want to study you're going to study if you don't want to study nothing can nothing can improve, uh, uh, motivate you seriously yeah to uh, the student doesn't really matter because uh, i mean if if the th- concept is for ranking i mean that's a different thing but there's no, no such competition uh, affected by the strength of the students because if we have a bigger campus then we get more companies so i mean yeah. the options are not limited yeah yeah that's the second part of the story the other side yeah. of the story okay and uh, how do you feel is the curriculum at srm like the core structure the core structure okay for my batch it was still a little primitive but i have a lot of juniors who still contact me from time to time and uh, what i have observed is the they they changed the syllabus in 2018 for ec and this syllabus that they have right now is amazing it's up to date and it it has all the uh, skill sets require uh, that a student would need to get a good job i okay. mean the syllabus they using since 2018 i'm talking about that i had the syllabus which was created in 2015 now still a little primitive but the 2018 course is amazing okay so uh, now moving further uh, wha- how is the infrastructure and hostels at srm oh well infrastructure is something srm is known for i mean we have like a great campus we have amazing labs and we get a lot of funding uh, at 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 one point during my final year i, I got this data from somebody that in my college at that point there were 72 clubs technical uh, technical clubs performing for different uh, competitions and what not uh, so yeah in- infrastructure wise srm has all the facilities you'd ever require okay and how about the hostels uh, okay the hostels <laughs> i mean yeah uh, the facilities i mean you you'll never be an uh, you'll never not have a place i mean there are a lot of rooms available mm, and now i think they have also improved the quality of hostel because i'm actually jealous about this that the building i used to stay in first year uh, when i left uh, yeah. uh, after my final graduation i went back to check that hostel and now they have air conditioners and private washrooms in every room yeah um, i mean i was pretty jealous about that but uh, i think overall the hostel experience is it's not a it's not a hotel for sure yeah but uh, but it's good it's decent okay so like it, but I mean, and, it, it, yeah. it 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 may it makes do yeah that's okay mm. okay so uh, and uh, what about the co curricular activities like the clubs you mentioned so how does that have an impact on campus life of a student like oh it matters a lot i mean i even since the beginning of my first year i was always a part of one co curricular club or the other i mean till the end of my third year uh, uh, I, i mean every day after like my college used to end at 5 and by 5:30 or 6 i was there at the clubs and i mean we just used to um, i mean do whatever we loved i mean uh, it was amazing and co curriculars really improve your interests uh, and your uh, knowledge base and uh, what not it's it's amazing and not just co curricular srm also has a lot of extra curricular clubs like uh, like a dance club a music club a, a fashion club mm, and uh, yeah i think uh, i think that's it that's about it and then we have sports as well so yeah that was pretty nice uh, for for my first year i was like 
my curriculum was quite different than my interest at that point. So even during my first year, I was learning about battery management systems, batteries, uh, energy storage, energy conversions, and all of that, which wasn't a part yeah. of my course because okay. I was a uh, I was a part of the club. I could learn all of that. So yeah, I mean, it's amazing. You should always look for that in SRM if you're there. Oh, okay. So now uh, moving towards the last question of the introduction and uh, of the interaction and probably which will be one of the most important things uh, yeah. to the student right. uh, who wants to who wants to take admission at SRM uh, that is about the inter internships and placements how the placements at SRM uh, okay I mean here's the thing if you if you have good grades and you have a decent background you'll get good jobs from SRM. There's, there's no two ways about it. But even if you're not that good during your college, you'll still get a job. Uh, I, I mean, the number of companies that SRM has, you're going to find a job one way or the other. That's not a problem. But it, it, just, it just depends that what kind of job you're going to have, what's the range of the salary and all of that. That's going to vary. But uh, I mean, uh, SRM boasts like a hundred percent placement. I mean, obviously okay. there's some technicalities there and yeah. it's not really hundred percent. And there are some, uh, I mean, there are some, uh, some clause to clauses to that, but our overall placements numbers are still pretty high. I mean, pretty good. Uh, okay. there are some people who get, uh, around 10, 20 lakh packages. Uh, the number is small, but, uh, the average would go around. I mean, it obviously varies from department to department. Yeah. But the average goes around six, I think, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. So the average. Some yeah. people even start with three. I mean, but okay. that's the mass recruitment. Yeah. So, right. So, okay. I mean, and, that's mass. Okay. And can you uh, mention about some uh, dream companies and some mass recruiters which come to campus? Like if you can name a few. Okay, I mean, uh, I can help you with the mass recruiters. It's the same like uh, okay. TCS, Wipro, Cognizant. Uh, they're the same. Yeah. Uh, dream companies. Uh, I think we have some sub subsidiaries of Tata's coming in. Okay. Uh, I think we also get uh, BMW, Mercedes every now and then. Um, then uh, for EC, I think we had Simmons, which is pretty good. Then uh, I think we had uh, HCL as well. I think so. Okay. Uh, and, and to be honest, I didn't really sit for placements because okay. I knew that I'm going to go for masters. So I I can't uh, offer a lot of guidance in that. But yeah, a lot of companies come. And SRM has a pretty good culture for uh, master's students as well. I mean, many batchmates of mine are in all across the globe at this point. Okay, so, that's great. So that was it about the discussion. Hope you all enjoyed the interaction and uh, thank you for watching the video and do like, uh, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.